Go and buy a potter's earthenware jar. Take some of the elders and the people, some of the senior priests, then go out to the valley of Ben-Hinnom, which is by the entrance of the potsherd's gate. Proclaim there the words that I will tell you and say, Hear the word of the Lord, you kings of Judah, you inhabitants of uh, Jerusalem. This is what the Lord of hosts says, the God of Israel. Behold, I am going to bring a disaster on this place. And which the ears of everybody who hears it will tingle since they have abandoned me. They've made this place foreign. They've burned and sacrificed to other gods, neither that their forefathers or the kings of Judah ever knew. They've filled this place with the blood of the innocent and have built high places of Baal to burn their sons in fire as offerings to Baal, a thing which I did not command or speak or had ever entered my mind. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when this place will no longer be called Topheth, or the valley of Ben-Hinnom, but it will be called the valley of slaughter. Go and buy a potter's jar. Go to the potter's gate, which is by the potter's field that overlooks the valley of Hinnom. I will bring judgment on this place because they filled it with the blood of the innocent. They were offering up their children as sacrifices there. It would become the valley, would become the valley that was a symbol of hell, Gehenna, valley of Hinnom. That's because of what they did. He says, because you filled it with your children's blood, it will be filled with your own. Of all the sins that brought judgment to Israel, the killing of its own children was foremost. How could it not be? We know this. We know that the killing of children invokes judgment. Yet we may miss it when it actually happens or when we have a little glimpse of it. Is it possible that we already witnessed some of it? Now I said in the movie, this is not to say that anything like a global pandemic is only because of one thing. There are many causes, nor is it to say that anybody got sick, which is many of us. It's actually, that means, it, that, that's, that's Jeremiah, the righteous were affected by everything too. But we're talking about a civilization. One of the judgments that Jeremiah said is going to come on Israel because of the killing of its children is that of a plague that will come on the land. Could there be a mystery in this? Do you remember when it happened that, that New York crossed that line? The governor actually threatened the legislature and said, if you don't do this, I'm not signing anything. Do this. So they all passed this law that was to kill children up to the time of birth. And you remember if you so they all stood up, they cheered it. And the governor ordered that one of the nine harbingers, the World Trade Center, be lit up to celebrate what they did. And they lit it up in the color pink to celebrate the killing of babies. New York crossed a line. One year later, the plague came to America. When? First case, as I mentioned, patient zero. Made headlines all across the country that the plague had come to America. Next to the headline was a date. The date was January 22nd. January 22nd is the exact date that New York crossed the line. The headlines of the plague, it came one year anniversary to the day. But as I said, it's also the date, January 22nd, the date that America in 1973 legalized the killing of children. That same date. Jeremiah said, as you have done this, it will be done to you. All connected with Israel. Now abortion, I said, is the sin of the older against the younger. So it's a strange thing that when the plague came, it struck particularly the older and and spared most of the younger. The generation that has lived, that's reaching its end right now, is the generation that legalized abortion, has killed more children than any other generation in the history of the world. Israel killed thousands. We have killed millions, over 60 million children. And the world has killed over a billion, well over a billion. They're not here today because they're gone. If Israel did not escape a consequence, how do we think we're not going to? And the number one killer, the number one nation that kills the most is communist China. The plague begins in China. But the nation that's also at the top, you wouldn't think so, is that which led most, much of the world into abortion is, quote, a Christian nation or was America. So the plague comes to America in a way that was greater than any to this day. And Jeremiah said, the death will come to the very place where you killed the children. So where have more children been killed in America than any other place in America? New York, right across the river. That is the abortion capital of America. 
That's where the children's blood was shed. So this is, I can't go into the detail of the movie, but this is what is behind it. The plague would focus most of its wrath actually on New York. You remember the first days. That actually, do you know that one out of every four person who died in America was in New York? Particularly New York City. Then it says verse, verse 10. Then you are to break the jar in the sight of the men who accompany you and say to them, this is what the Lord of armies ho says, to the same extent I will break the people of this city just as one breaks a potter's vessel which cannot be repaired again. They'll bury the dead in Topheth because there will be no other place to bury. They'll be running out of place. Well, I mentioned, and, and it, again, we had to do it very quick, but it's the saying here, there'll be so many that they won't be able to bury it because of the sin of what you did. During the plague in New York City, they could not contain, they could not bury. They had too many people. So what they didn't have room. So they brought them out to this island called Heart Island. The prophecy of Jeremiah was made with a potter's jar at the potter's gate, at the potter's field, all about the potter. The place where they buried the dead in New York is called the potter's field, which is named after the very prophecy of Jeremiah, which speaks about will it be buried. In the same warning that is linked to the killing of children. I'm trying to give you more clarity on what happened very fast there. Jeremiah says in Jeremiah 8, actually it's not the same verses, but it's the same, he's speaking about the same judgment. Jeremiah 8, 22, he says, he says, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no doctor, physician there? Why then have the health of the daughter of my people not been restored? Gilead was the place where all the, where the medicines came, the bombs came, bomb, B-A-L-M, would, they'd put on, they'd sue that they'd heal the sick. So that's where it came from. Jeremiah is saying, why are we, why, we're, we're suffering under this judgment and there's no healing where, is there not any bomb in Gilead? And so America at the beginning was searching for a, 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 a cure for the plague. And the very first announcement, some of you may rem remember it, is a, was the original first vaccine came out and the stock market went up 500 points because of the announcement. They thought, hey, it's a cure. wasn't a cure. Just like Jeremiah said, where's the bomb? But the amazing thing is that the name of the company was Gilead, which is saying that the, what has come upon you is linked to judgment. Bomb of Gilead. Now we know of the Jubilee. The Jubilee is a time of blessing, but, but it's also a time of justice and restitution because if you took somebody's land on the Jubilee, you have to give it back. Whatever you took, it's given back to you. On the 50th year, given back, given back, taken out, given back. When did abortion on demand begin in America? 1970 is when it began in America, particularly New York. In fact, what happened in New York led the Supreme Court three years later to legalize it across the whole land. So the year was 1970. When is the Jubilee? The year 2020. The year, so we took life in 1970. We began. The 50th year, life was taken back. A study was made of the plague reaching when it reached its peak in New York, and it came up with, there's two dates, April 9th, April 10th. When was abortion on demand legalized in New York? It happened on two votes, April 9th, April 10th. It was 50 years to the exact day. Now, I didn't share this in the movie, but where, they, where did they make that vote that actually would ultimately lead America to abortion? It was in the state capitol building in Albany, the same building where they legalized abortion up to the time of birth in 2019. Same building it all came from. And then the plague came one year to the anniversary of what they did in that house. 